Hey guys, welcome back to the series of HTML. In the previous video, we have learned about some of the form elements and in this video, we will learn about some different types of input types. So let's get started. All right, we have already learned about some input types like button, checkbox, radio button, text fields, etc. And now there is an input field called password. This is used when you want to take the password as input from the users. The text should be hidden. So in that case, we should use the password type input field. So the syntax will be less than input type is equal to password. And if you type anything in this field, the characters in this field are masked. So the next one is color input type. This input type gives a color picker. The syntax for this is less than input type is equal to color. Let's see how it works. So you can drag the cursor and select your color and you'll get your RGB weight. So the next one is date field. With this input field, the user can select the date, month and the year. The syntax for this will be less than input type is equal to date. And if you see the output, we got the calendar and you can select the date. Let's suppose if you want to ask the user's date of birth, then you can use this date field. Similar to this, there is another field called date time hyphen local. The syntax for this is less than input type is equal to date time hyphen local. With this input field, the user can select the date, month and the year as well as the time. So the next one is month type. The syntax for this will be less than input type is equal to month. This input field allows the users to select only the month and the year. So the next one is email type. The syntax for this will be less than input type is equal to email. This input type will validate the text entered is email or not. That means it checks whether it has the at symbol as well as the dot com like this. So if I enter some random text, it is prompting me to enter completely with the add symbol as well as the remaining part. So the next one is file type. The syntax for this will be less than input type is equal to file. This file type is used for uploading a file. The file may be a PDF, JPG, documents, etc. Something else. It's your wish. Suppose if you want the users to upload his photograph, then you can use this file type and ask the users to upload his photo. So the next one is number type. The syntax for this will be less than input type is equal to number. This number type is used to take a number. This might be used for taking the age of the user. And if you see the output, we can increase the numbers. There are some attributes for this type. Like you can select the minimum number that is min is equal to 2 and also you can give the maximum number that is max is equal to 50. So the number will not be exceeded with the maximum value which we have given and also you can give the step value. By default the step value is 1. So I'll give step value to be 2. Now it will display only the even values. So the next one is range time. This gives a slider type to get some value. The syntax for this is input type is equal to range. As you can see, I got the slider. Here also you can set the restrictions on what numbers are accepted with min, max, step attributes. So similar to the number type. And the next one is time. This gives a time picker in your web page. So the syntax will be less than input type is equal to time. You can select the time and AM or PM as you wish. So you can use that for any doctor appointments or something like that. And the last one is week. You can select the week number and the year. The syntax will be input type is equal to week. As you can see here, we got the week number and the year. So that's it for now. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notifications from my channel and I'll see you in the next video.